Okay, this is a test. Well, this is the inaugural. As actually, we did the inaugural. Look, let me tell you what's going on. When I first started my, uh, put my glasses on so you'll see, so you know it's me. You know. When I first started my YouTube channel, it was a while ago. I, well, I got ahead a long time, but I started officially, I guess, in 2011 or something like that. Uh, but uh, where the heck was that? But I, I guess I guess I had my channel since 2011, I think. Uh, but I officially started like in, I guess it was 2014, somewhere around there when I started at the, when I did a, when I had the University of Fort Hare. And uh, when I was there, uh, Alambe Braff died. So the first official one I guess I did was uh, 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 talking about Alambe. Uh, and it's, he had a big funeral in New York at the Abyssinian. It took hours and stuff like that, so the video. Um, anyway, this is uh, coconut water. New York, they got a variety of coconut waters here. They just have this, well, I shouldn't say that. I got this from, uh, what's that, Walmart? All right, price, same as New York, but yes, I don't know what. Forgive the the you know, we're in Virginia. They cut grass here, you know. So I, I just picked this time to talk to you guys to reveal my new thing. Okay. What happens when I got it? When I started, it was for really archival purposes only, uh, meaning that uh, 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 basically, okay, here's the thing. I'm an archivist, right? For a long time, I've been. In fact, talk about Alambe. I was I, when Alambe and Samori Marshman were doing their, you know, Alambe Braff Samori Marshman were doing their stuff in Harlem at the Harry Tubman School and, and those forums. I, I, I'd be one of the people taping the forums, right? Plus, I've been BAI for a long time, and so you know, I, I well, I'm engineer, you know, production engineer, and you know, board board op, board operator and all that stuff. But I would. Um, my first association was with, with, with Bernard White at Emanations, and what I would do is I would go out and I would do box pop for him, but I would also uh, take these forms so he can have the raw tapes, he can make programs out of them like that. So that's that's how I really, this is like, we're talking about, about 80, 1982, somewhere around there. Then we started Sound Gathers, me and Melvin Simmons, and uh, and then the rest is history, I should say that. But, but, but we, we, we gathered a lot of these forms, like, you know, uh, you know, back in the day, you know, uh, the guy that had Pratish Lamoum in the boot of his car, you know, a CIA guy that, that, that was the chief of Angola, and then he, he, he talked, you know, um, uh, this guy, Ralph McGee, he ex -CIA, well, a bunch of people, you know, we, we just, we, uh, uh, Steve Copey, uh, peoples, <laughs> um, uh, notable people, you know, all, all the people in New York, you know, the Al Vans and the Al Sharpton's and, the, you know, all that kind of, all that stuff like that. Anyway, I'm sort of stalling because I want this guy to go away, finish his cutting the grass before I do it. Instagram. Okay, so this is what I'm doing now. So that's what I do. And and, 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 and what I was really doing is I, I would tell people for years, even back then, I said, no, you got to tape your elders, you got to tape your elders. And somewhere along the line, I realized that, whoa, I am an elder. <laughs> so who's going to tape me? Ain't nobody interested in this sort of stuff, right? Unless, like, 200 years from now, when you try to find out something, and you realize that all the, all the, all the things are like newspaper accounts or whatever, or you know, verbal accounts or something like that, and it's not first person. And so basically, you're not really getting the, the deal, you know what I mean? It's just some sort of gatekeeper, some sort of editor between you and, and the source, let's put it that way. Okay, so, I like coconut water. Um, so, so somewhere in the line, I said, well, I, I am an elder, so I started, I said, well, his YouTube came along, you know, well, it had been along, I knew about it, and then, but but people use YouTube, when I first started, you know, when I first hit it, they, they wanted to monetize it, I don't monetize YouTube, right, I'm not into that, right, also, I don't, um, uh, mine is creative comments, so anybody can use it as long as you give me, you know, a due acknowledgement, you know, accreditation, you know, you know, props, <laughs> say, hey, I got this from so-and-so, you know, see, like that. That's what Creative Commons means. Okay, so, so, but what I realized that YouTube, you know, well, when you go to Creative Commons, you're not under the YouTube standards. They have all sorts of bylaws, whatever they got. They sort of own your stuff, right? And I don't want nobody owning my stuff. I don't even want me owning my stuff. So, um, so then I, I found out about BitChute, uh, 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 you know, a, a service, 
And so what happens with YouTube, YouTube automatically takes my bit shoot. You see, if I post it on YouTube, it automatically takes it to bit shoot. So I'm archived at YouTube, supposedly, and bit shoot. So I'm satisfied, right? You might want to find me. I'm not hard to find. Okay. So then, then, uh, but when the when the uh, the scandemic, I mean the pandemic hit, uh, 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 have this saying: "I am my own petri dish." Hey, that's my saying. I credit it to me, right? Meaning, you know, they you can you can be under the pharmacies and the, or, 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 or the medical people's whatever have you, but then you become their experiment. You become their petri dish. You know, they put you in a little thing and then they start messing with you and see how you grow or don't grow, how you they limit you and what if they put this drug with you that that, that, that kind of thing. Well, I ain't had no uh, when it's the first set hit. I said another flu, big deal. You know, oh no, this is a flu that that's gonna blah blah kill millions and stuff like that. I said, look, I ain't had a flu shot since 1970, so. <laughs> so come on in fact if this flu is bad enough to get me then it's a flu and it's going to get a whole lot of other people before it get me anyway that's not even the point uh, so so I so anyway I look I've been New York when it, when it first hit in, in March of whatever two years ago whatever it was uh, uh, I, I was in Virginia down here I was in St. Louis when that was like the big <laughs> the, the epicenter I've been of course, I traveled back and forth to South Africa. I was in the cities, the rural areas of South Africa. I take tests all the time, negative. In fact, the last time I was at the doctor, last week, the doctor said, hey, you got a good immune system. That's what well, she said it as an observation. Because, you know, they take tests all the time, the regular stuff, you know. Anyway, so now I'm, I'm, I'm ready here for the Yaki protocol for the cleansers, but, but the, boy, the boy ain't sent me the stuff. It ain't come yet, so now... Now, what, what should I do? I said, okay, I'm in Virginia, so I'll just keep on sinning. No, I shouldn't say it like that. Um, I'll keep on doing stuff, you know, but I still do the fruit and the, drink my water in the morning. I mean, not just coconut water. I have fruit, fruit. It's got a mango, whatever. So I, I eat fruit about midday, you know what I mean? And then I have a meal, uh, 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 you know, after six, six, seven, eight, somewhere around there, right? Um, a, a cooked meal, or maybe not a cooked meal. I have a meal. Uh, and eventually, after I do the cleanse, then I'm going to go strict Ayurvedic. So the meal that I have in the evenings will be uh, basically vegetarian or whatever. Even now, I do closely, as close as possible. I don't, I don't eat a lot of flesh. Let's put it that way. Uh, uh, so, so, so that, that's what's happening with this. But then I come with this idea. It says, uh, since now Instagram, when I do an Instagram, it's just like taking the place of what I was saying of, of speaking to your elders. You know, people put their lives on Instagram, whatever have you. So a lot of stuff I put on Instagram is just what I would normally put on YouTube, right? So then I came up with this idea, always thinking, always thinking, because the Instagram, they have their little thing, but I guess they have their laws too, like that. So it won't get onto my ultimate, uh, I guess my ultimate, uh, what do you call that, uh, archive, which would be BitChute or YouTube. So so what, I've, uh, so what I've figured, okay, let me, because actually my YouTube channel is most valuable for the interviews I do. If you listen to me waxing like this, okay, you can keep on listening if you want to. But if you go to the interview playlist, there's a lot of interesting people there, and you got, that's that's the one to go to, right? Uh, and plus, now I started using uh, lessons since earlier this year. Whenever it is, I started to read the Gullah the, the Gullah Bible, and so this is for my, my Gullah Bible readings, um, and also uh, when I do um, the, the uh, Sunday sermons, which is. Uh, uh, reading out of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, uh, The Compensatory Concept. It was the code book. Don't worry. Go to producejustice.com. You know all about it. Um, so I decided, I said, okay, what I should do is what I will do out the behind the scenes. I use YouTube for true archives, like behind the scenes, how something was made. So every time, so now that I got my other phone back, because I got this is a this is a one plus six, this is a one plus seven. I like the one plus seven because the thing pops up. And so the, the, the lens is always clean, and plus it's just a really good camera and good sound, right? Here I have a I have a uh, I have a, a sure microphone attached to this to this one plus six. Uh, of course, I want to just see how the sound turns out. There's, I don't think the the, the uh, what do you call it the, uh, the 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 camera quality is not that great on here. So, you know, I think it's greater on the seven, so that's why I like to use the seven for the Instagram. And also interviews and stuff like that. Okay, so, but this is like behind the scenes camera. This is my YouTube for me. For me, to me, to me, to, to me, YouTube. Okay, so, so, so now you can see how I do the, the let's do the, uh, uh, 
uh, let's do a uh, an Instagram and see how how it how it works out. And you see behind the scenes. Ready? Uh, so let me go to Instagram uh, like that. Go to live because they used to actually be able, be able to just have to do it without the live, but now they I don't know. We got to do live and then post it up. Ah, I don't know how they, how they do that. So here we go. Okay, so then we hit it. Dun, doo, doo, dun, dun, dun. Got notes there. Oh, oh blah, blah. Hey. hey, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Yes, I got notes. Look, I, I, usually I take a walk and then I come back and take a wash and then I talk to you guys. But this time, I had something in my mind, my brain. I had to do it real quick. So what I, well, not real quick, but this, as, as you may or may know, this is the same shirt, same outfit I was wearing yesterday because I usually sleep in my outfit. Or I changed to a white beater t-shirt. I should say that way. But another kind of thing is sleep in that. But then I just kept it on stuff. And then I did my morning walk, which I don't you know, wake up. I swish my, you know, I do certain things, you know, uh, you know, elimination and stuff like that. And then I do my morning walk. My morning walk takes like an hour and a half, two hours. I think this morning it was like two two hours and change. Um, I started by listening. Usually I'm listening to, a, sometimes I listen to a lecture. Uh, I had Corey Holcomb, but... I gotta cut down on my core because core keep on talking about it. I'm not in those circles, those comedian circles. They have beef and stuff like that. Uh, I, I, I like that much better, you know, than other people want. Let's put it that way. Let me not mention any names. Okay, so so I just went back to my music, right? But this time I used to listen to DJ Spivey, but I was on uh, DJ Rowan. Now, interesting. Here's a Spivey to me comes from. Well, he's a he's Detroit DJ. Yeah, he's out of Detroit. The DJs I know in New York. We, a lot of us were raised by uh, raised. We went to like uh, roller skating, roller rinks, you know. So, so you get, you got to skate. You got to skate is your underlying thing. Rowan, I think, he comes from a tradition of like drummer, drummer uh, and bugle corps, you know. Um, you know the, the, the southern drummers, you know, drum line, not like that, like that. I'm talking about drum line. Well, I, I guess I have that in me too because see, I, I'm, I'm rocking my PNS, PNS Pentecostal Military Fraternity, uh, but. Uh, well, you'll, you'll see it backwards. Sorry about that. I won't tell you something else is happening. Okay. But part, part of the... Penis comes out of the Cadet Corps. Uh, uh, Pentecostal comes out of the Cadet Corps. And, and out of the Cadet Corps, you have the, uh, you have the Pentecostal fraternity. That's the dudes. Then you have the sorority. That's the women's. Right? I was on the third line. Okay, don't worry about that part. But what happened is it comes out of the Cadet Corps. And the Cadet Corps ultimately came out of menacing. Okay? Now, Minnesink was an organization that was around, but in fact, there's a famous picture. Of, you go to any Lorraine Hansberry thing, you see a picture of her with the, with the camp Minnesinkers. I used to go to Minnesink. Well, we all went to Minnesink. 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 I, I don't know how to tell you. It's, it's named after American, it's all American Indian culture, you know, and all that stuff. Okay. Um, but the, the Kinnacle came out of that. Virgie started the Kinnacle, came out of that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be Virgie, peace and blessings, let's return soul and all that stuff. And but the interesting thing about the Kidako, we would train a certain, uh, especially the the was just not just the Kidako. Kidako had a the drum and bugle corps, the warriors. You you see them because it was colors in maroon and white. But you see them because if you ever see that film, uh, the Richard Pryor film, Bruce's Millions, they're in that film when he goes to Yankee Stadium. They're the drum and bugle corps in that film. I just thought I'd give you a little information. Okay. Anyway, but the point is, I know I started my walk now. I'm gonna go off all kinds of things, but. I guess it's, it has to do with the walk too. But what I notice that DJ Roller is like a, 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 you know, the drum you call a, a beat, something like that. It's like a, that's the underlying thing. Okay, so when I put that on, then my walk, even when I do a DJ Spivey, it's, it's more of a, it's a rhythmic, it's a rhythmic thing according to house music, basically. You know, it's a house music thing. Okay, uh, so so that's what I noticed about DJ Roller. But what I also noticed that, you know, he, gets, he, he has a lot more bass in this thing. So I'm, I'm doing my walk. Now my morning walk here in Virginia, I change all the time. And my morning, and my, my whole exercise routine changes all the time. But when I'm in Virginia, I go ahead. There's this little walking park, a little park they have with little some basketball, have basketball court, whatever. And so it's, and people do that as a walk around. But then I keep on walking, and I go to there's a cemetery, really good cemetery, not a cemetery with the stones up there, you know, like like when on Corey Holcomb Cemetery, the cemetery to see a 5150 introduction. No, it's like the pla the plaques are all laid out. So you look at it's like straight there, but they have these paths. So that's why I do my morning walk in that. It takes about an hour to walk through that, through the paths. And I do, and I walk backwards too. I walk backwards. I, I, I saw this when I was in, that was back way, way back in the early, whatever, no, in the late 90s when I was in Delray Beach, Florida. I used to run the beach. I'd go first light morning, 
we'd do my prayer and meditation better. Then I would run backwards on the beach and all that stuff. But we won't get to that. Let's go back to what's that. So when I walk here, I walk in, and, and I really like this walk. Nobody goes to the cemetery, so psh, all, all the staff know me. Wait a minute, the staff knows me. Every, you know, when I come back, every time I come, it's up. Oh, he's back. He's walking again, right? And this is early in the morning too. Okay, so, and then, 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 if I want to extend the walk, I walk out. I walk out, and I really go. There's a place called Food Line, whatever, or Airline. Anyway, I, I, I go there. But then, then I go even, sometimes go even further. But I'm not going to go any further anymore. I'm going to just walk that. There's a in back of Food Line. There's this. Anyway, I, I do this backwards walk, or whatever. So that'll be as far as I go because just a, a walk in the thing and a walk in the cemetery is sort of like takes up an hour, over an hour. Right? So anyway, so I'm going to do that now. But here's the trick. Now I'm thinking, right? Because it's like nobody else walks the cemetery. Uh, I don't know why. I guess that's say nobody else. There must be one or two people that do it, but I never run into them. I guess they have something against cemetery. But I was looking at. I'm always, um, I'm always digging into me. You know what I mean? It's like I, I, just, I exist. What I call in a third infinity, and I always try to re, not redefine, continue to define me. Like I know a lot about me. Like for instance. Uh, under under uh, under the American Indian uh, pantheon, the, the astrology, I'm a woodpecker. You know, you know, tenacious, keep on going, don't stop for nothing, right? Um, that's so American Indian. I'm a woodpecker, right? Under under say the the Chinese astrology, I'm a I'm a I'm a what's called a meadow tiger, you know, uh, uh, and also I'm a, uh, uh, well, I'm a tiger. Uh, this is like a solitary animal. He he'd be doing stuff. I I won't get into it right now. Some other time. Okay, under under the uh, under the Mayan system, I'm what's called a white world bridger, which I bring disparate elements together. Right, I'm trained as a stage manager, which stage manager brings disparate <laughs> elements together. I won't get into that. It's the inside joke. Uh, 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 so then I said something that right under under the Yoruba system, I'm a, I'm a child of Ogun. Okay. Which is interesting because Ogun has three aspects. People don't really talk about this. You know, he's the warrior, you know, the guy with the grass skirt and the machete, you know, so clear the grass, all that stuff. That, that's what people focus on. Ogun as the warrior, warrior. Uh, and Ogun is a deity. It's a selected head. It's called like a selected head. It's like a, it's an aspect of, of, of God, I guess. Well, it's a selected head. Don't worry about the universe. Okay. Um, and, 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 and so I'm a child of Ogun, but it has three things. You have you have the warrior, right? But then because he, he's into iron, he's also considered in the medical field, like the you know, the medical equipment, stuff like that. So he's like a surgeon. Well not so to say. It's like a, he's in the medical field somehow. You know, I was in the Air Force, I was a medic, right? But the third one that people don't know about, they don't talk about, he's an architect. Plan things out, right? Not like not like like Shango is a general of the army, you know what I mean? Like that. But you no know, Ogun man, Ogun is like he, nobody gives him credit. Yeah, he's always assisting other people. Or you call on him for when you need assistance, you call on Ogun. Let's put it that way, right? Uh, so, so but, but one of the things about Ogun that I particularly appreciate, you know, is that uh, he was married. His his uh, first wife that tripped out on him is Oya. You know, the head, Oya is like the head of this. Let's call her just the head of the cemetery. You know, with the, with the, with the head of the elements, the sis. Cemetery kind of elements right there. Then I was thinking while I was walking the cemetery because I just came across, you know, the whole um, uh, the 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 the, the, the you know, the, the 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 Egyptology people, you know, the the, the you know, they, they have different things. Well, and then under that, I'm a Cancerian. By the way, Ogun's Cancer, right? Because this day is June 24th. That's under Cancer. Just letting you know, I can't escape me being a warrior Ogun. Hey, even. My last name, Sloan, it means the, the Anglo meaning of Sloan is warrior. I can't get away from it. I just I just do it. I let you know I can't get away from these things. Okay. But under the nature thing, I just looked at I just saw it. I was reading through something. Uh, there's this thing called uh, Anubis. Anubis? I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's the Greek. It's Greek. You know, they do everything from the Greeks. Everything you list from the Greeks. But they but they get it from the Africans. But, but, but the Greeks uh, got it. The Greek, it's the Greek form of the of the of the Egyptian thing, which is the uh, the the uh, ampu or the the impu. Uh, that's A N P U, okay, or the I N P U, right, where they spell it for for the Egyptians, right? Now I'm not going to get into this right now, but you know you know the Egyptians must have got it from someplace, and they got it more to the interior of Africa. I'm not going to get into that right now. Some other time. Okay. So what does this have to do with me walking in the morning? Okay. 
So I'm walking the cemetery this morning, and I realized, hey, wait a second. If Oya, Ogun's first wife, <laughs> I says, hey, Oya, man. I seen that tripped out on the board, hung out with Shango. That's by Shango. I won't get into that right now. You look, look up your your Yoruba or your Condomble or whatever, and you'll find out a lot of stuff you want to know. But anyway, um, so I'm thinking like, okay, this 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 cat, this this uh uh uh, uh I'm gonna call him uh, Ampu, okay? Ampu only because the 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 Anibus, I do numerology, right? The Anibus, can I, can I even read this? Let me put just a second. I gotta put my uh, reading glasses on because sometimes I can't even read my own writing, you know, so I read this reading like this. Ah, hey, hey, difference. Uh, the uh, the Anubis, A-N-U-B-I-S, and under the mirage, each, each, each letter has a has a number. And so the numbers end up like A is one, N here is five, U is three, B is two, I is nine, S is one, okay, because A-J-S, so those are all ones, and, and put the chart, in, chart like that. Because my initials are A J S. I got three ones. This is a three. Never mind. If you you can have fun with numerology if you really know what you're doing. Okay. Anyway, so that adds up to twenty one. So under the Greek form, it's like twenty one. That's three. It's all right. Ah, I have nothing against that. That's cool. No problem. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Artistic. You know. Uh, twenty four hour people. You know. Eh, three is cool. I like three. Loquacious. That's three. That's me. Okay. But under the under the, under the Egyptian system and. And, and Pu, the A N P U, the A is one, the N is five, the P is seven, the uh, uh, U is three. That adds up the, the what it goes down to to the to the single digit. That adds up to seven. That's spiritual. Ha! Now, if you do the I I N P U, which is the other way too, is that that's a, the I is nine, the N is five, the P is seven, the U is three. Right? It adds up to six. That's like education. Okay. This is interesting to me. So I'm gonna stay right. So I like to apple the seven. This is spiritual. Yeah, I like the spiritual realm. I'm hanging out with the spiritual realm. Right? Okay. But the thing about uh the Apu, he's the the, the, the they, they say the uh, jackal the jackal headed you know, the, you know how you, uh, the, the Egyptians have the usually the human body and some kind of head, some animal head. Well this is the jackal headed one. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to be the deity of God presiding. It's a deity of sense. See, when you deal with these other things, you, look, God is one, right? But then you have aspects of God, or you have select. I won't get into it. The point is, um, they say deity, but let's let's put the aspect of God. The, the jackal headed cat, just this this uh, ampu, is the, is the is the aspect of God that presides over the embalming process. Let me stop right there. Okay. Now, when I was in, I might need this game. When I was in the Air Force, I was serving the Air Force, right? I was a lab technician. We did all everything in the lab: chemistry, serology, uh, parasitology, uh, whatever, blood banking, everything in the lab. In other words, when a doctor gets a test, they got to go to the lab get a test. The lab, we we the ones to do the test, so we know as much about doctors, and about tests, as, as, as medicine as, as as most people. In fact, when I got out, they wanted to be, they wanted me to what? How you say that? Uh, be go to medical school. Nah, I'm going back to theater, you know, <laughs> to a theater. But all, we also did autopsies. Interesting enough. So embalming. Do you see the? Oh, you don't see the connection. Don't worry about that part. Okay. He, he, uh, also, this jackal-headed cat, uh, this uh, uh, empu or empu, uh, presides over the embalming process and the company's dead king's royalty, you know, like that, to the afterworld. They accompany them, and then they're the ones that take the, the heart and put it on one side of the scale and the feather on the other and see if you, you know, you you in balance, you know, with the, with the lightest and the, and the heaviest, you know, whatever, like that. And uh, so it's, so empu is the one that, that that's assisting all this. Interestingly enough, what do I do? I assist. I, I insist. I assist. There's a man. Put my other glasses on. I'm not reading no more. Now I'm just yapping. Don't you see? Okay, what I'm trying to say is this. So with this walk, when I go to, when I go to the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm here walking amongst, you know, the graves, whatever have you, which is Oya's domain. So I'm, I'm not like assistant Oya because she, whatever have you. I'm just, I just can hang out, you know? This don't make no sense to y'all. Huh? Look, I'm trying to say, know, your, know thyself. <laughs> 
every time I, it's like every every time I look someplace, I try to de- how does this apply to me? How do I know myself better with this? How how do I discover better, better, better? So every time something uh, how I say goes in uh, uh, defines or redefines or or more defines what I am, I get more confident in myself and I become stronger because I I, that's, I just become stronger. Simple as that. So. So, anyway, so, so, so I walked with this military, I walked, da, 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 and it was great, right? But I had to run back before I take my wash, because then I got to do, I got to do my Gullah, got to, well, I do my Gullah reading uh, from, from the Gullah Bible, right? I'm getting good at it. I'm starting to really understand. This is so interesting. If you ever go to my YouTube channel, you see the Gullah readings, and you say, don't worry about it. So all I'm trying to say is I had to, I had to share this with you real, real, real quick. But it's so interesting because uh, once you keep on, uh, once you're consistent in doing something, say walking every morning, right, or walking, or doing, you know, doing something consistently, then your your brain sort of turns off. You do that already, and you start thinking about other things. And what I start thinking about is more about, well, I'm the center of my own universe. I like to say that a lot these days. Uh, anyway, but I'm trying to get myself to. I'm trying. I'm getting myself together because I'm preparing for going back to what I have to do in Africa. What I have to do in Africa is super important. Oh, shout out to um, the Freedmen. There's this whole thing, uh, I forgot what channel it is, but Michi X hooked up with the with the, with, with, with the, with the Freedmen people, right? And which is like, oh, that it's on. Black people in America, oh, you don't know, we are in a glorious time. I know it looks like what it is, but we're in a glorious time because the troops, and between Yaki and the Freedmen and the, I don't know what else is happening there like oh this is going to be interesting hey may you live in interesting times I'm, I'm going like whoa I'm, I'm, yeah. irony you know I got irony I got the Freedmen I got Yaki I got Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. man I'm having a I'm having a, a joyous time now I can go I'm down here I'm Reading some 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 books that I ain't read uh, that I, I suppose have been written, but I'm reading it now like that. Oh man! And of course, you know you got Joe Horn roaming around. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Look, all I'm trying to tell you is that this is some 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 stuff is about to kick off, and I suggest you prepare yourself. Right? Um, you know, eat, start eating right, start doing your exercise. So getting the knowledge, you could keep on gossiping. You know, you can keep on gossiping if you want, you know, like that. But uh, uh, calm down a little bit, and do some, you know, self improvement kind of things, uh, some mental things like that, and you'll be all right. So this is, uh, I thought I'd tell you all that this morning. I'll talk to you all later. I'm doing something else now. All right. Okay. Talk to you. Be well. All right. Okay. So now what I got to do? I got to put it up right away because uh, take this off. I gotta put this up right away because otherwise uh, I put uh, I'm gonna put walk in the graveyard, walk in the graveyard. Nah, walk in the cemetery. Nah, I shouldn't do that. At least uh, wanna walk. Nah, I, I have to put walking. The brother, the brother. It's gonna be uh, the brother walking. Put walk in, like I N, and then uh, with the apostrophe, walk in the graveyard. D E. I use the D E now because uh, uh, because of the gullah, my gullah thingies. Uh, uh, instead of that, I always put D for gullah for my gullah lineage. Just put walk in the graveyard. G capital G G R A V Y O A. Walk in the graveyard. I won't tag anybody location. I'm gonna put Western Branch. I'm gonna Western Branch, Virginia. That way, people. It's like because I'm. No, I don't worry. Uh, well, you know, I'm. I'm. I'm right now, I'm in. I'm in Chesapeake. I'm in Chesapeake. I walk to Portsmouth. I'm down in Norfolk. I might even go down to Virginia Beach. So I'm just putting Western Branch like that. It's a series. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a part of. I have a series. I have like on the road from the car. Uh, that, the Eastern Cape. These are does with D A. When I was using D A, I keep them like that. Uh, random randoms. I put like in the morning. In the morning, I put in the morning. That's done. 
and then I hit share, and that'll go up. So that's going up on my uh, on the Instagram. So the Instagram does that. But now this is what we're doing here. This is behind the scenes, right? <laughs> So we, I automatically put this automatic captures what I'm putting on um, what I'm putting on 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 uh, uh, what do you call that Instagram? See? Hey, look at that! There's two me's. See? So now uh, what I'll do is I'll send it out to my people like that after I'm finished with you guys. I send it out to my people, and. Uh, and that's it. So every so every, so so that's what I'm gonna do every day. I'm gonna do like that. So I'm check, I'm taking a sound here like that. I, I kind of put a new I put a new compression program on this this phone. I want to see how that works. So this is like an experiment, like that. Okay. So that's that's it. I just thought I'd tell you. So this is gonna be done. This be this be the every every. Uh, this is my new way of of, of, of operating. <laughs> I being me T from the Patterson's taking the pain to the bed, letting you know what I own it. Suspect.